Hey guys, today I'm taking a look at Lucky Man by Emerson, Lake, and Palmer. I did from the beginning uh, just a little while back and everybody seemed to uh, really enjoy that one. Uh, this one's a lot easier. It's uh, in that trilogy of classics, I think. You know, Still You Turn Me On from the beginning and of course Lucky Man being the uh, first one. So anyway, as I said, this is a much easier tune to play, but there is a couple of particulars in there that I want to get into. For one thing, there's actually two guitars playing simultaneously, okay? So uh, I'm going to talk about guitar number one, which is the one you just heard me playing, and then I'll talk about guitar number two, which gives the whole track that rolling sound. So uh, if you're playing with another player, hanging out with a guitar friend, <laughs> you guys can play this together. All right, there's only a few chords here, four chords, a G chord, a D chord, and then we'll have an A minor, and we'll have an E minor, okay? So the G to the D is the uh, verses, and uh, it's played like so. play that in a loop for the verses, right? So let's talk about how that's done. We've got a G chord and I'm playing it with my second finger on the third fret on the G string and then I'm also playing the third fret with my ring finger and my pinky on the uh, first string and the second string, the E and the B. So this finger is free to do the little hammer on. What's important is the little cross picking pattern that he has and you know that from the beginning <laughs> he's pretty uh, He's pretty slick with the cross picking. He's pretty quick with it. So anyway, it is picked like so. And you can see that on the tab, okay? So it's all down strokes until you get to the first E string. And you definitely want to do an upstroke with that so that your pick hand is where it needs to be to play the hammer on on the D string. So you're going to hammer on on the D string to the second fret. So after you've done the hammer on, just do a down stroke and an up stroke, kind of lightly or medium light across the G, the B, and the E string. So that just sort of happens in between the hammer on, okay? And then return to an open D string. So we have. And then we move to a D with an F sharp in the bass. Pretty common thing, right? And we're going to pick it in a very similar manner that we did with the G chord, okay? Play the bass note first, skip a string. Starting with the D string, pick all the way down to the first string. And again, that's gonna be all down, 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 up until you hit that first E string. And then we want to place the pinky on the third fret on the E string for a D sus four chord and do the classic pull off. And I'm picking back through the chord. So what I do is I pick it like this. That's one cool way to do it or you can double up on the picking. What's really important is that you're picking upward until you hit that open D string again, okay? But you can mix it up a little bit. Just find your way with it, whatever feels best to you or what sounds best to you. So, with the two chords together, we have. sweet indeed. And then we move to the chorus, which is just some strumming. We've got an A minor chord. And a D. And we're doing the classic movement on the D, right? We've got a regular D chord. D sus, pinky back off, middle finger or second finger off for a sus two and back on. And the strumming is basically like down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. And when you get to that D chord, just kind of keep your hand moving with those solid. So let me do that nice and slow. He 
sets at rest, and then it's right back to the verse, okay? So there you go with the main guitar in Lucky Man. Now, as I mentioned, there's a second guitar part and you hear them both right out the gate, okay? So let me show you how to play that one as well. And if you're jamming out with somebody else, you can do this guitar as well. And this is classic Greg Lake, okay? Uh, it's the exact same picking pattern that I used in from the beginning. It's three down and three up. And you can see the tab on the screen what I'm playing, but let me talk about this chord anyway. I'm barring across the first two strings at the third fret, and the G string is open, and then I'm doubling that G note with the fifth fret on the D string. And so it's three down and three up, as I mentioned. Keep a nice loose wrist, don't use your arm, okay? And then we switch to a D chord, just a different shape for the D chord. And that's the first fret on the uh, E string. And then with your pinky, seventh fret. What did I say? The first fret? The fifth fret on the first E string. And then seventh fret on the B string with your pinky. And seventh fret on the G string with your ring finger. And it's the same string. Start with the D string. And there you have it, okay? So that's being played over this part. Like I say, if you've got another guitar player, two guitars together, those two parts sound really great on top of each other. So here's the second part played up to speed. Just right on top of the other guitar, okay? And when the chorus comes in with the A minor, E, D stuff, that second guitar just sweeps across the chords. It sounds to me on the recording like he might have the uh, the uh, sixth string tuned down a whole step to D because that D chord sounds really thick, okay? So if you want to do that, it's going to sound really cool and it doesn't affect this other part at all. Sounds pretty sweet, right? So the only thing you have to be aware of is the E minor. And it sounds to me like normally in drop D you would play E minor by fretting the sixth, the fifth, and the fourth strings all at the second fret. But it sounds to me like he's just fretting the sixth and the fifth, okay? And it sounds like a like an E minor. I like that. So again, you would just play. right back to and so on and so forth okay so there you go with lucky man another classic from ELP from Greg Lake and uh, I like the guitar solo the electric solo on this one and I don't know if I mentioned it out the gate but uh, I am going to do a video for it I think it's a really easy thing to play but it's super cool and it's just very melodic and fits the song really well so uh, I'll get to that one too. All right, thanks guys. All the best to everyone.